I'll have to be honest with you. First thing I'm gonna mention right up front is is it's free. Uh, I, I like this this the service when, when it's free because you know you can tie up a lot of money in, in different services. And from experience, I found out that a, you, sometimes you can pay a lot of money and you, you may not be getting that much out of it. Good afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. It's November 26, 2013. To my left is Logan Burgess and I'm Brock Shimbuno. We had a mixed trade in Chicago. Let's turn with a live quote to see how we ended. Corn was down six and a quarter cents. Soybeans unchanged on the day after being sharply negative early on in the session. Wheat in Chicago down six cents and Kansas City wheat was up three quarters of a cent. You know, Logan, we did have pretty light volume, pretty uh, choppy trade here today ahead yep. of Thanksgiving Day holiday. That's kind of to be expected, but once again, soybeans was real talk of the trade today. Yeah, you know, we did see a lot of weakness earlier in the session, as you said, Brock, but the bulls did fight back and get this trade back to unchanged by the close. Take a look here at a daily chart of that January 14 soybean contract. We talked about it a lot yesterday on the show, that trend line that you see drawn here across uh, the recent highs, that was coming in right around 1322. We saw a strong move through that yesterday, and today a lot of bulls were looking for some follow through on that. I don't really think we got that, or I guess we certainly didn't looking at the price action. And this really looks like a market right now that's looking for some direction. Right now we are at very lofty prices compared to the range that we've traded, uh, and I think it's important to keep an eye on it. If we can get through the lows, 1314 where we opened up, uh, the trade on Monday. I think that's going to be an indication to some traders that this bean market may be ready to make a retracement back to the lows. A big deciding factor on that though is going to be export sales pace here over the next couple of weeks. Certainly we know the fundamentals on the export sales side have been very strong. This week we'll be getting the export sales report out on Friday, normally out on Thursday, uh, but delayed a day due to that Thanksgiving Day holiday. You know, uh, corn didn't really have a whole lot of price action today. Yep. We did break down below that 420 level, but uh, like we said, it was on pretty low volume, so I'm not yep. looking for that as a big indication that we're going to move lower, but we could retest those lows that we made last week. Um, let's talk about wheat, though, just for a little bit here. The wheat was kind of a developing story late in the trade session. Yep. We did get some updated weather models that showed some below normal temperatures for the Southern Plains about 11 to 15 days out. So that's going to continue. We're going to have to continue to monitor that story. Uh, it looks like the temperatures are expected to be near zero or below zero. Zero, which could really present some winter kill scenarios for that developing wheat crop yeah. right now. Uh, we know yesterday in the, the good to excellent ratings uh, that it was rated 62% for that winter wheat crop. So this will be a story we'll have to continue to monitor. If we do get some winter kill scenarios, we could get a little bit of a pop in that wheat market. Yeah. And this wheat market's really been stuck within a range, about 640 to 650. We've been trading that range for a couple of weeks now. So if we do get something uh, developed with that, those cold temperatures, we could see us break above that. And uh, you know, sticking on the wheat market here. Um, export sales has really been an issue as well. Yeah. Uh, we did see Egypt get back in the market for some United States wheat last week. Um, just a few minutes ago, Egypt did uh, say that they're going to be seeking cargoes of 55,000 to 60,000 metric tons again. So we'll have to see if we are mentioned in uh, in the tender for tomorrow uh, when Egypt announces that. Yeah, certainly we know the U.S. wheat has been a lot more competitive in recent weeks. On Monday, we saw Paris wheat trade up to five and a half month highs. So uh, certainly a good indication there that the price of wheat may be competitive on the global front. Certainly yesterday we talked about it a little bit. Uh, the story that we're going to be backing off some sanctions against the Iranians, some people feel that may be a supportive story for the wheat market as well. We'll have to see those stories and how they develop here and we'll keep you posted on that Egyptian tender here over the next couple of days. In general though, that's what we saw here for a Tuesday, relatively light trade day in Chicago. Expect the same tomorrow. We'll be back here though, breaking it down once again on Grain TV. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you then.